Welcome back. It's something I'm sure we all wish we knew. How to succeed at business without really trying. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> well, for now, it's something we can all watch at the Alhambra Theater. And here to give us a behind the scenes look at the musical is a few of the cast members. We got Chris Lewis, Lindsay Nance, and Ricky Kona. Yeah. Like the car, like the coffee. <laughs> That's right. You got it right. Okay. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your characters. Yeah, so my character is Jay Pierpont Finch. The show pretty much centers around him. He's got this book called How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Long name, uh, <laughs> and it's just about the idea of he's he's moving up into the corporate world by this book, and he runs into a lot of obstacles along the way between romance and uh, office scandals and disasters, and is just figuring out his way to navigate that. And uh, it's a hilarious show. And uh, these are the other characters that I get to <laughs> I get involved with throughout the entire show. So, okay, yeah. I play Rosemary, which is Finch's love interest, yeah. and she's not. I see. Typical. I see why. Yes. You got a little flair. Okay. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Um, and she is not your typical ingenue. She's kind of a little sassier than the usual. She finds her man and she goes and gets him. Oh. Like he comes into the office for a job and she's like, I want that one. Oh. So. Yes. <laughs> she knows what she wants and she goes for it. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. And how about you? I play the most likable character. In the <laughs> she's like, I'm the one that people like. <laughs> no, I play Casual. Bud Frump, who is definitely the antagonist of the show. <laughs> um, he is Finch's um, rival in every sense of the word, but they're very similar. They're, they're, they're so similar because they're very ambitious people. My character just goes about it a little bit more devious. He's, okay. He's uh, the boss's nephew, so he takes advantage of his privilege and... Uh, he's a little entitled. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. But he should be because he's great. <laughs> I feel like there's See. a little bit of truth to your character. Yeah, right. No? Yeah. Okay. So tell us a little bit about the musical itself for someone that, that hasn't seen it or experienced it. What can audiences expect when they come in to watch it? Yeah. I mean, it's the show has been around since 1961. It premiered and it won all the Tony Awards that year. It also won a Pulitzer Prize for Best Drama, which only nine musicals have ever won that award in the history of musical theater. So, wow. and since then, there's been two revivals. There was one back in the 90s with Matthew Broderick, and then one most recently with Daniel Radcliffe and Nick Jonas. They both played my character, and uh, it's lucky a them. I think they owe you. Yes, it's right. It's right. The inspiration right there. They couldn't get them for this one. Yeah, yeah we tried. You know, but, um, you know it, it's the show is hysterical. It definitely has a good 60s nostalgia flair right. to it. So, if you're looking for a big musical that has hilarious numbers and characters in it. This is the one to come see. So. Okay, so now I know that the synopsis then when it reads, it's like power, greed, sex. I, I'm in. I'm there. <laughs> You're there. That's is it for needs. families, though? Like, uh, would you recommend bringing the kids to this? I definitely yeah. would. Okay, I, I, yeah. Um, it's, de it's very family friendly. I mean, it was originally written in the 60s, so, you know. It, oh, so it, what was it, risque back then yeah, is exactly. nothing yeah. in <laughs> comparison <laughs> to now. Yeah, right, right. yeah and I, I think it still rings true uh, to today's audiences. I mean, you know, especially if you're in the corporate world, I think you're you're going to find it very tongue-in-cheek yeah. and, uh, and enjoy bringing your families. And the Alhambra is such a great space to, yeah. to do that, too. And we got to mention the food, because that's one of my favorite things about the Alhambra. Oh, yes. it's, it always delivers. Right. Okay, yeah. now you mentioned that the corporate world, it, it kind of still rings true to this day and age. What do you, what are some kind of like takeaways or themes that we still can kind of apply to today? Um, well, Definitely. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's, it's a big farce of the show. So I mean, right. I would say like just trying to move up, and you know, you're trying to get that next position. Mm -hmm. And how are you going to do? How, what are you going to do to try to get there? You know, some people go out of their way. Some people don't try too hard. And that right. is kind of Finch in in some ways. Like sometimes he just it just happens for him. And you know, without even really trying, as we hear by the title of the show. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think, I mean, other than that. It, oh, no. So climbing, yeah. climbing the corporate ladder yeah. in office politics is still a thing in 2020. Oh, very oh, much. Absolutely. Look at that, Frump, 2020. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're we'll seeing in lights now, right? <laughs> is that the sequel? Write that down. <laughs> Frump's Revenge. <laughs> we talk about that's that all the time. Yeah. I think that should be a thing. Yes. All right, well, where can people, uh, I guess, where can people get tickets or come and catch the show? Uh, the website, alhambrajacks.com. You can go online or you can even call the box office as well. So, yeah, there's, we're running until March 22nd, so there's still some time left. Awesome. So, yeah. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. And you guys can always catch this segment again on our website at firstcoastliving.net.